Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a found footage horror film, Frankenstein's Army. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in the forest, where a Russian soldier poses in front of the camera and says that he is a proud member of Stalin's army. What follows is the unfortunate sequence of events that happened during World War II. After this hectic scene, we see a group of Russian soldiers who are recording themselves as they move forward with their mission, which is to retrieve some other Russian soldiers. One of the soldiers named Dema asks a skinny soldier named Skinny to hand over the camera, after which they carry on to a rendezvous point. The commander shows up to flex his bald head and tells his soldiers that they need to attack a sniper's nest. Then they get into action. As expected, the scene is hardcore and causes a lot of deaths, but the Russian soldiers manage to survive and carry on to their next destination. As they move forward, Skinny trips over something and falls to the ground. He is mocked by his comrades, but quickly realizes that he stepped over a weird skeleton. The skeleton looks as if it belongs to a monster, and the soldiers are shocked to see it. A Polish soldier named Polish radios the home base, but receives no response. The commander now takes the team to a nearby village, and they ravage the place with no concern for the residents living there. Another night passes by, and then Polish wakes up to the sound of the radio. It's the other Russian soldiers, but they only talk about being trapped and don't respond to Polish or the commander. Polish finds this suspicious, but the commander tells him to radio the home base for further instructions. It's of no use, so the team moves out, hoping to find their fellow Russians. On their way, Dima finds a fallen soldier and inspects his body, but is given a jump scare when the body reanimates for a bit. Dima becomes a Russian chicken, but the commander tells him he needs to be tough, otherwise he will end up being a fried chicken at KFC. Now, the team checks their target location, but can't find any soldiers, goats, or even vodka. The commander decides to go in through the trees, but tells Dima to stay out of the way, because his camera is annoying the team. A tense sequence follows as the soldiers move ahead and cover the target area, which is shown to have been attacked. They notice that the damage has been inflicted by artillery and not by any aircraft. It's a bit confusing, because there are no military bases for the next 50 kilometers. Anyway, the commander says that they should move to the nearby church. The soldiers do as they're told, but find an entire stack of burnt bodies revealed to be nuns. Dima spots a nun who is still alive, but keeps demanding her to blame the Nazi soldiers for her state. She doesn't respond and has to be sent straight to meet Jesus, so that her suffering can end. After that, Dima falls into an open grave, which hints at something ominous. Now, the soldiers move into the church, but don't find anything of use. There's no power either, so Skinny turns on the generator. Suddenly, the commander and the others find a dead body in a horrible state. Since the power has come back on, the body reanimates like a zombie and gets up to reveal a strange mask and driller attached to its body. The soldiers have no idea what they're dealing with, so they play with the zombie for a bit, but the commander tells them not to mess around. He tries to talk to the zombie, who appears to be blind, but things get out of control when the zombie drills a hole into his body possibly wanting to pump some zombie fuel out of it. It then attacks the rest of the crew. A brief struggle follows, but the soldiers eventually come out on top and send the zombie to meet zombie Satan in hell. Unfortunately, the commander has his diabetic entrails spread out everywhere, and there's nothing that can be done to save him. After holding on to him for a while, the soldiers realize that there's no point in trying to save their commander, so they end his ball life and take his greasy body away. This is clearly a disturbing time for the team so Polish tries to radio the home base for help. It's yet another failed attempt, which makes Polish annoyed at his machine. That's when Skinny comes up with the idea to use the church tower to enhance the signal. Polish thinks that this is a great idea, so he asks his other soldiers to go out of the church and look for people nearby who can give them some information about the village. However, a drunk soldier named Vodka opposes to his command and says that he should take charge after the commander because he has been in this troop for the longest amount of time. Polish believes that Vodka is too drunk to be a commander, so he argues that he has more strikes than Vodka, and even Skinny agrees with him. Vodka opposes their drunk logic, but even the other soldiers decide to let Polish take charge for now. This makes Vodka upset and sopers up from the alcohol, so he warns everyone that Polish is going to betray the Russian soldiers. Now we see Vodka and the others moving out of the church and into the village. While everyone seems to be in unison, the soldiers don't seem to be fond of Dima, who is still recording them. 
The team now breaks into a barn and finds a lot of rabbits. So they decide to use them for their dinner. A caretaker arrives and gets shot, but isn't killed because the others need to know where their Russian comrades are. The caretaker speaks in German, so Dima decides to translate for the others. The caretaker is only interested in feeding the animals, but the soldiers need to know where the other Russians are, so they threaten violence upon him. Dima says he has experience with interviews, so he sits down with the caretaker and asks him some questions. That's when the caretaker reveals the village has been abandoned by its residents because of some monsters. When asked about these monsters, the caretaker only talks about a doctor, and then Vodka becomes impatient. He tells Dima to go behind the camera, and then he chops off the caretaker's fingers. After this torturous sequence, the caretaker decides to lead the soldiers to a secret spot, where the Russian soldiers are apparently being kept. Vodka and the others follow the caretaker to a hidden entrance, but are told to go inside if they want their Russian soldiers. Vodka is advised against this, but his ego is bigger than his alcoholic sausage, so he forces the caretaker to lead the way. The soldiers enter a secret maze passage, but the caretaker manages to make a quick escape in the middle of the maze. Vodka asks his men to split up, and he tries to find the caretaker, but this was a trap right from the start, as the men are attacked by a bunch of zombie mutants. These zombies have been merged with different kinds of weapons, similar to the zombie in the church. The soldiers try to fight the zombies, but Dima simply records the whole thing, rather than fighting for dear life. A hectic scene follows, filled with all kinds of action. But one of the soldiers named Big G gets attacked and injured by a zombie inside a robot suit. The soldiers fight the robot zombie built with chat GPT intelligence and eventually emerge victorious. However, Big G has some serious injuries, so he needs to be treated immediately. Everyone goes back to the church, where Polish tends to Big G, but Vodka wants to end his big life, so he pulls out a knife. He gets smacked in the face like a fly, because Big G will decide when it's time for him to go. The team has realized that the caretaker is feeding the mutant zombies, and he needs to be stopped immediately. Now, Polish asks Dima what he thinks of the situation, and he says that the mutant zombies are a new Nazi weapon. Polish agrees that the Nazis can come up with such a deadly idea, but also states that it's a crazy thing to do. Later, the soldiers eat some bunnies for dinner and think about saving their fellow Russians. But Vodka believes that their comrades are dead, and they will be next. Suddenly, the team hears the sound of shooting from upstairs, and they take cover. There's a brief moment of panic. But then, the soldiers find some innocent survivors, consisting of a medicine-smelling nurse, an old man, and a little boy. Nurse says that they've been hiding from the zombie mutants, and everyone need to be quiet, otherwise they will be found out because they can trace sounds like GPS gadgets. Vodka wants to kill all the survivors and make some drunk babies with the sexy nurse, but she begs in for hormone mercy so that she can save Big G. Unfortunately, she pulls out his brain along with his helmet, ending his big life. Vanka attacks Nurse out of anger and knocks her sexy body down, so Polish tells him to stop. Suddenly, a zombie mutant arrives to flex its mutated muscles and kills one of the soldiers. Chaos ensues as more zombies enter the place and attack the soldiers. Dima is attacked and dragged away, but then, Skinny takes his camera and the soldiers save him using grenades. They eventually have to hide in the church catacombs, but leave Nurse behind, possibly because she's smelly enough to attract the GPS zombies. Now, Polish happens to find a jammer on his radio and attacks Dima because the truth has finally been exposed. It turns out there are no Russian soldiers to save because Dima was transmitting these messages by himself. Dima had also used the jammer to block the signal from the home base so that the soldiers could not learn the truth. Everyone wants to kill Dima, but then he reveals that he is actually their superior officer and has the names of all their loved ones. This means that Dima can have their families all executed, if anything bad is to happen to him. Now, Dima decides to use the old man to lead the team down the church catacombs and uncover the truth behind the doctor, who is making these zombie mutants. In reality, the real mission is to bring back this doctor, dead or alive, but Dima prefers him to be alive. Also, the reason he's carrying the camera is simply to record the mission if it fails. Suddenly, the team is attacked by more zombies, and a brief battle follows. They manage to subdue a zombie by chopping off its legs, and then they shoot down another zombie inside a factory. The soldiers find its chute going down, so they push the survivor boy through it to see what's on the other side. Unfortunately, he gets killed by a zombie mutant, which has a fan for a head. 
The soldiers manage to defeat the zombie, but also lose the old man in the process, possibly because he's too old to outrun the zombies. Dima wants to continue with the mission, but Polish has had enough of this, so he pushes him down the chute along with his film. The team tells Dima to complete his mission by himself, and it makes him abuse Stalin for forcing him to be here in the first place. Afterward, Dima finds a zombie mutant carrying human bodies in a trolley. The zombie mutant also takes his film bag, so Dima follows after it and finds other zombies carrying out basic tasks, as if they are factory workers. Dima is down to his last roll of film, so he records a message for his parents. Here, we learn that Dima has to get the doctor back to Russia, so that his Jewish parents can be freed from their prison, just for an exchange. After this, he finds a lab, where a girl's head has been sewn to a teddy bear. Dima explores the lab, and then he finds a zombie factory, where human bodies are being transformed into zombies. He runs into a Nazi soldier, who is in a trolley, and he sees a zombie mutant taking him away for his transformation. Suddenly, Dima is attacked by a zombie mutant, so he fights it off. Unfortunately, there are too many zombie mutants, so Dima has to run away. After a brief chase, Dima finds Big G, but notices that even he has become a zombie. Dima is knocked out, and then the camera goes off, only to reveal later that the caretaker is indeed the exact doctor Dima has been looking for. He rolls the camera and makes Dima eat some food against his will. The doctor reveals that he is actually Dr. Frankenstein, meaning he is the descendant of the legendary Victor Frankenstein. He makes a zombie mutant force feed Dima, and then he takes him to his factory. Here the doctor explains that he started his experiments with cats, but was stopped by his father when he was young. Later, the Nazis asked him to do the same things to humans, and this is how he has his own zombie army today. Dima is amazed by what he sees, and then he is made to witness how Dr. Frankenstein creates a zombie. It turns out that Polish and Vodka have also been captured, with Vodka losing his arms as well. Dima hears the Red Army coming close, so he offers Dr. Frankenstein a chance to join him and his army in Russia. However, his words fall on deaf ears, as the doctor is only interested in his personal experiments, which he believes will end the war. Now, we see that even Nurse has become a zombie nurse, but still medicine smelly, and she's assisting Dr. Frankenstein now. Polish begs Dima for help, but he simply refuses his request. The doctor proceeds to split up the brains of the Nazi soldier and Polish, after which he merges the two halves. Then he does some shock therapy and creates a zombie after adjusting the brain wavelength. Suddenly, Dima gets knocked out and wakes up to see himself strapped up for another experiment. The doctor wants to attach Dima's camera to his head, but there's no time as the Red Army begins its attack. Dima offers one last chance to join the Russian army, but the doctor refuses to do so and plans its escape. He also says that his zombie army will go berserk once he leaves, because they only follow his instructions. However, Dr. Frankenstein gets shot down by Skinny, who was hiding his skinny body this whole time. Dima insults him at first, but begs him for mercy, as Skinny chops off the doctor's head and takes it as proof of having completed the mission. Polish becomes an aggressive zombie and attacks Dima, while Skinny records the entire ordeal. He then makes an escape, and the movie ends with a photo of him next to Stalin, meaning he has been recognized for completing the Frankenstein mission. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.